Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Listener Mailbag. I am, as always, Steven. Uh, so this is part two of the collecting series we're doing on Listener Mailbag. And uh, I had intended on starting to show you the collection, but things happened, so I figured I'd dig into one of the questions and the question is how how do you store your stuff do you like use high grade stuff do you use uh, whatever you can find and that's a good question like a lot of people uh, will go for the high grade stuff but that's not always um, you're not always able to do that, uh, especially if maybe it is not affordable. For example, I have a uh, piece of artwork from, it was a Halloween special of uh, Grim Fairy Tales. Uh, Anthony Spade did it. It's autograph. It's uh, the actual pencils uh, that he did for the um, book. And it's one of the pages. And it's 11 by 17, I believe, in size. And I just have it in like a big uh, hard plastic protector right now. Uh, display actually, it's not even at my house. It's at my mom's. Displayed in my old old room. Uh, but it's in a big eleven by seven. It might be bigger than eleven by seventeen. I never actually measured it. <clears throat> but, um, it's in a, it looks basically like a card protector that you would get for sports cards or non-sports cards. Only you can fit this page in. And I had looked into getting it framed and stuff, you know, something nice. Uh to show it off but in reality it's not feasible for me to do it I just I got it as a gift and I keep it protected in the protector but I can't afford to display it as it should be displayed so right now it's just like that eventually I'll get a frame for it perhaps or I'll Take and give it to somebody else. Uh, so it's not always feasible for you know to get the top of the line um, stuff for your collection. I'm not saying it shouldn't be well maintained, but sometimes you you can't get the high end stuff, and a lot of collectors they think you need it, but. Uh, I have the six issue mini series of Chuck and uh like my comics are bagged and boarded most of them some of them and Chuck which I had looked for forever and I finally got as soon as I got them I got them I can't remember if it was for Christmas or my birthday a couple years ago but uh they came loose they didn't have bags or boards so I bagged and boarded them and I put them to the side and I wanted frames for them but I can't remember if it's AC Moore or Barnes and Noble you can take in pick up comic book frames but the ones I saw were I believe 20 bucks Maybe a little bit more. So that's like what, 120 at least for the six 
issues, and, uh, you know, I can't drop 120 bucks on six frames, I'd kick my ass, my girlfriend would kick my ass, and I'd have everybody I know kick my ass, so, uh, I bought some cheap frames, some 11 by 17 that the comics would fit in, and uh, have them in the bag and board, and then in the frames, and I use those to display them, which seems to be working out pretty good. Uh, the pops that we have, they're not in anything. Uh, uh, I'll get some pop protectors eventually. Uh, we just don't have a place around where I live that you can really buy stuff like that. We have a video game store. And it's not a good place. Like, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, so, you gotta order them online and you gotta be able to buy them online. Like, I've seen, I think it's a thing of a hundred. It's like $69. I don't have a hundred pops. I don't have a spare $69, but I think there's a record video store a couple towns over. You can get some of the hard cases and some of the regular protectors. I'll eventually get them there. Uh, so basically, just find the best way you can to protect your collection. I mean... If you have comic books and you can't find bags and boards or frames, something to protect them in nice, you could always go to, like, Walmart. And while it's not the same, you can get, like, the three-ring binder plastic sheet set. They put uh, papers in and stuff is basically a big collector card sheet that you can use I mean and don't let anybody judge you on how you keep your collection I mean it's your collection you do with it as you want um yeah so I guess that's what I have to say about that right now I'll probably delve more into it over the next episodes, a uh, couple episodes, uh, as you see the shitty uh, job I do to protect my collection, uh, but with that, I bid thee a fond, fond farewell, so until next time, see you later.